Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming, and sometimes hair, so that sounds like your thing, make sure you are subscribed. Also, come and follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of stuff you're not gonna see here on YouTube. I just wanna plug mine and my brother's podcast very, very quickly before we get into it. It is called The Double Cleanse, where we talk about skincare, makeup, obviously, but we also take a deeper dive into what it means to be an influencer within that realm nowadays. So go and follow us over on Instagram and get involved with our conversation in the episodes too. I'll see you over there. So I might be a little bit bunged up, a little bit sniffy. I'm absolutely fine. I haven't got anything else. But today, I do so many like videos that like, oh, I hate these products and these products aren't worth the money. I thought I'd share some products that I was pretty much pleasantly surprised by that, that they actually lived up to the hype. Products that as an avid consumer, I um, was really happy with my purchase and probably will repurchase time and time again. So let's get straight into it. I want to start off with the Secret Key Lemon Sparkling Peeling Gel. This is a gommage, I hate that word. <laughs> Why do I hate that word so much? This is a gommage pill, and this is an exfoliator that I rediscovered after I reviewed the Wishful Pineapple Papaya Enzyme. Scrub, is that what it's called? Because it was horrible and I wanted to find another peel. I've got the Cure one, which is amazing. Then I remembered I had this lying around in the drawer. So this product has been around for years, years and years and years. I feel like it's, when you get into K-Beauty, it's one of those first products that you buy. But this product has always been a favorite. It's on like Yes Style bestsellers all the time, like Style Korean. So this contains a few soothing ingredients such as aloe and chamomile, lemon water. And I know a lot of people get confused between my hatred for lemon juice direct from the lemon and the lemon in a skincare product. It's completely different. If it's been formulated to go on your face by someone who knows what they're doing and how to formulate a product and integrate ingredients to work well within a product, it's absolutely fine. It's made to go on your skin. And when formulated well, lemon is an amazing brightening ingredient in a product, not from a lemon. This contains papaya extract as well, which I believe was Wishful's like unique selling point that isn't actually so unique. And uh, I don't know if I should say this, I'm gonna say it, but looking at Wishful's latest releases as well, a lot of it is, I was gonna say inspired, but it's literally just copying what's already popular in Asia and has been for such a long time. Like those V-Lift masks, sheet masks, um, peeling gels, and they're kind of acting as though they've invented them. And it's a little bit annoying. Let me know what you think. This also contains green tea water and rice extract. Again, green tea is full of antioxidants. Rice extract is something I love in my products to help brighten the skin. But most importantly, it's got cellulose in, which is a gentle physical exfoliator. So it's an organic plant compound that very, very gently removes dead skin cells only when they're ready to come off. It's quite gentle as well in the sense that when a lot of these pills, you do have to kind of like scrub until you get that balling effect. With this, it's just literally gliding over the skin. It balls up very, very easily. It does have a slight citrus scent to it. So if you don't like fragrance, you're probably not gonna like this. But the citrus smell is more na on the natural side. It doesn't smell like urinal cake, you know, those little, you know. And for under 10 pounds, it's 100% worth the purchase. Number two, <laughs> you're probably sick to death of hearing this, but Paula's Choice 2% Blackhead Exfoliant. I've talked about this a few times now, but for me, it really is the only BHA I found that isn't wrapped up in a Blackhead Miracle gimmick. We all know BHAs are great for smoother skin, blackheads, um, clogged pores, clogged pores, that feeling of congestion. It's an amazing exfoliant for those with oily skin. Paul's Choice say that this is gentle, and whilst I don't think it's not gentle, Gentle. They do say you can use it every day. What do they say? Um, once or twice daily, apply it over face and neck with a cotton pad. Um, I personally wouldn't use this d uh, daily. I wouldn't, especially twice daily. It's still a chemical exfoliator, so I would still be very, very careful with it. But saying that it is one of the only chemical exfoliators that doesn't give my skin a tingle or like a stinging, like a lot of BHAs I have tried before. Also, this absorbs super, super quick. Like, you know, a lot of the times you put a toner on or a exfoliating toner and kind of have to sit there fanning it, letting it dry out. I do like to let chemical exfoliators um, not dry out on the skin, but settle on the skin before I move on to my next step. But a lot of them can take a really, really long time. This one settles in super, super quick. I've said before, like this feels more like a grown up BHA compared to other BHAs I've used. For some, I feel like there's so much 
so many AHAs out there available, but not so many good BHAs. And this is just one that I'm, I'm probably just gonna use forever. This will be my BHA, like my go-to now. As someone with oily skin, as we get into the summer, it's gonna be important for me to start using a BHA two to three times a week. And yeah, it'll be this one. It's 28 pounds. Is it worth 28 pounds? Yeah, I mean, I like it, so I will pay 28 pounds for it. Are there cheaper alternatives that work just fine? Yes. But this is my favorite BHA of all time and I'm willing to pay a little bit extra for the formulation. Oh, the next one, we have a cleanser. We have the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. I was so confused by this product to begin with because I was like, is this like a, a cleansing balm, like a first cleanse? Or is this a water cleanser, like second cleanse? And the answer was, Yes. It's both. Yes to both. This is huge. This is a huge... Where's the secret key peeling gel? Okay, that's not much of a crazy comparison, but it's big. It's... Uh, how much is it? It's 150 mil, and I got this for 9 99 which I think is an absolute bargain, especially when you, what you have here essentially is a two-in-one. You've got your first and second cleanse. Oats have become super, super popular recently within skincare, but looking into it, it's nothing really new. I, I just feel like more and more brands are discovering its benefits. Collodial oatmeal is known to be amazing for soothing, irritated, dry, itchy, and inflamed skin. Tuck in oat kernel oil and sweet almond oil, and you have an amazing non-irritating, non-drying, gentle cleansing balm, and face wash for even those with like the most irritated skin. I have seen people raving about this all over YouTube. I've been getting non-stop questions about it since I said I purchased it like months ago. And I really do think it's worth the hype that it's getting. Saying that, it's not getting like hyped up massively, but the reviews have always been positive, like really, really positive, And it's popping up in everyone's thumbnails and stuff. And I, I think it's worth the purchase. It is a bitch to get out of the tube. Like it's tough. You're not gonna break your fingers doing it, but I, it, could be easier. <laughs> but once it's out of the tube and onto your face, it just glides effortlessly all over your face. It just removes sunscreen effortlessly without tugging or having to excessively rub and massage um, and it rinses away with no problem whatsoever. Had it have been any more expensive, I would have been like, it's fine, you know, rather than yes, it's worth the money. But because you are getting that two in one, that double cleanse in one tube, I do think it's worth the attention and hype it's getting. Okay, so this is a product that I built up the hype for myself. <laughs> and I get questions to it this day and people ask me where it's gone and all this kind of stuff. And this is the Cosrx Mela 14 White Ampoule. This ampoule was my go-to for correcting dark spots, uneven skin tone, generally brightening my skin. It's got gentle exfoliating ingredients in there as well, and niacinamide as well, and it just worked wonders for my skin, and it's been discontinued. It's out of stock pretty much everywhere now. Honestly, absolutely devastated. I really hope they're just reformulating or repackaging this like they have done with their other serums, because this was one of the best serums I've ever used in my whole life ever. But I wanted to share my alternative that is very different ingredients wise, but has been giving me a similar result. And that is the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. This is actually my second um, bottle. This contains niacinamide, but also contains tranexamic acid. I feel like this is an ingredient that whilst it's been around for a while, is very, very popular in Japanese skincare. I feel like this year, it might be like the new acid everyone's gonna be loving. It's amazing at fading discoloration. So whether that's dark spots, whether that's redness, and it's pretty good for all skin types. Of course, it should be patch tested, especially if you suffer from things like eczema or very, very sensitive skin. So whilst those ingredients are different, it has been giving me a good result as far as the brightness of my skin, even skin tone and reducing those dark spots. Not seen a difference in redness yet, but for me, it's working pretty, pretty well. So for a product that I hyped up a lot, then disappeared forever, this is a good alternative. That is it. They are some of the products that I believe personally are worth the hype and that I'm glad I spent my money on and there are zero regrets there. Let me know the products that you have bought because they were so hyped up but that you actually loved as well. Not ones you were disappointed for. We'll save that for another video. But that is it from me now, guys. I will see you next time.